corn bread fed. And I am shaky with two E's when you see me, baby. And we're here to keep it all the way 100. 100. So before we get started, we're going to allow some people to get on. So come on, join yes. the live. What Don't be afraid. On? Come on, come on. Where are you guys at on this fine Sunday? Okay. Oh, hey, oh, Vincent. Hey, what's going on? Hi, Carl. And if y'all haven't yet, please visit my YouTube channel at Girls Talk Kansas. Add me, because I need all the subscribers I can get. So if you haven't yet, go subscribe. Yes, thank you so much. What's going on, you guys? Sunny, sunny Sunday. Well, do you want to go? Okay, so before we get started, it's time for us to pour up. So I'll be right back. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Shaky, right now. So, while Javi is pouring us up a drink, I do want to let you guys know that viewer discretion is advised before we have the conversation that we are about to have. I ask everyone to be open and listen to the discussion that we are about to have. Please don't be disrespectful and rude. Be open to everyone's opinion. Please comment on here. You guys don't play. Watch your girl. She's funny and lovely. So, we need everyone in on this. Please, take your kids to your room. Take them to the room, because it can get a little dirty. All righty, all righty. Thank you. So, our very, my very first guest, our very first guest yes. that we have is somebody that I really, really admire. She's been a great friend of mine for many years, and I really respect her for having the confidence to get on the show like this, because it really does take confidence for somebody to be able to get on here and speak their truth because everybody has their truth. So it's time for us to pour up and let's get this pot hot. Pot let's pot. introduce my best friend, Queen. Yeah. Hi, honey. How are Thank you? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hi to the public. Hello. Hello. Meet you guys. Mahogany and shaky all right hey. you can have a seat have thank a seat. you guys for mm -hmm. allowing me to be yes here. thank you how's your day going so far it's going good. that is awesome and i didn't forget about you i got you a glass too i got you a glass mm. Mm -hmm. there you go <laughs> so uh, miss queen if you don't mind if you can definitely go ahead and explain a little bit about what you do and if you can kind of maybe scoot over here so our audience can see you yes actually you know what let's have you sit right here. well yes if you don't mind sitting there i don't do anything speak but, up so our audience can hear you well i don't do anything for one but i have experienced a lifestyle for um 10 years i can honestly say and you know it's a difference so when you say lifestyle can you be a little bit more let me say vulgar about it so our audience can really understand what kind of lifestyle you're talking about well i am talking about traveling i have definitely sold my body before you know i mean i have children so i believe that i provided for my kids in the way of you know my body Okay, so when you say that you sold your body before, how old were you when you first started to sell your body? 19. So, when you was 19, like what was what were you going through that made you want to experience that put you in a position to where you felt like you had nothing else to do but to go resort to sell your body? Um, well, how it really If you don't mind sitting down, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Well, how everything started was I had my baby, my first child. My mom, you know, gave me an opportunity to go experience the, um, you know, being an adult. So what I did was I went out of town. And, I mean, I guess it was my looks that made me want to do it, but it was more of the men coming to me like bam, bam. And to be honest, how they started coming to me was, I got this and I got that. So they were propositioning you saying that they have what? Money. And when you went out of town, you were solely by yourself or did you have any other form of support? 
like when I tell him. Yeah, you I said because you had stated that you had your your child, your firstborn, mm-hmm. and you were traveling out of town and stuff. Yeah. I so about when you were traveling out of town, did you not have any other source of income? Uh uh-uh. Okay. And you kind of felt like when those men was propositioning you that that was the only thing. Yeah. So what? How would they approach you? How how did that go? Well. Some of them will approach me like, hey, what do you do, you know? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Right. And they like, Sh-, you know, I got this much money. Right. So, me being me, you know, hey, what do you got? Like, I, I want to, you know, I want to see what you're working with. And, you know, to be honest, I never, no no man ever gave me $40. Like, So, do you guys feel, <laughs> like my audience, as my viewers, do you guys feel that, If you're out of town and you're traveling alone and you don't have no other means of making any income, then it's okay to sell your body? Let me know. What do y'all think about that? Hi, everybody. I appreciate y'all for watching. Did anybody got any comments? It's just the easy way. An easy way. Yeah, easy way coming. So is it an easy way? Like, when you are with those men, is it hard for you to... How do you differentiate you being with somebody just for the money and actual, actually sexual pleasure? For the money, you don't get... I mean, it's like... I don't... I'm not interested. But, you, I mean, for the money, it's like, fuck it, I'm going to do what I got to do. You know, I'm not going to look at you, but I got to get this money. But for somebody, for you to be sexually attracted to somebody, it's like, oh, my God, what do I got to do? Like, oh, my God, you make me wet. Like, oh, my okay. God. Okay. I'm so happy that you said that. I am so happy <laughs> that you said something about being wet. So, when you're with these men, you know, right, making your money, I can I call it your job? Right. Okay. So, when you're at work and you're doing your job, do you automatically get wet or do you bring no. any lubricants to help you get wet? I mean, I'm... I'm naturally wet you know so it don't get dry so but other than that do i you know you can get it's a certain type of wet like ooh, you horny wet no it's like you just fucking like oh squirt squirt right you don't i i mean personally i never squirted on the trick you know because it's like you know i'm not really sexually attracted to you to do all these things can you explain a little bit more like in details to our viewers what you're saying so what you're saying is you don't have to be sexually attracted to someone because regardless your vagina is going to be wet period period so that's what you're saying I'm saying <laughs> okay i i definitely will have to disagree with that because so your coochie don't be wet no my coochie get wet but exactly it, but i have to actually be in a relationship sexually attracted to somebody i never turned a trick so I never had to experience getting sexual pleasure from someone without being sexually attracted to them. Um, what about y'all? Have anyone on my live been sexually active with a trick? Okay, she appreciates the honesty. Thank you. Thank you. Is anyone on live? Have y'all ever been? Have you guys ever accepted any money for sex? And were you guys automatically wet when the sex came? (laughs) Okay, no, everyone's scared. No, don't be worried. Don't rush. You don't have to be afraid to answer. So on a good day, when you are, when you were in, out of town with you and your child and you were. Not me and my child, just me. When you were out, okay, yeah, sorry. When you were out of town by yourself. Were you, um, on a good day, how much money would you make? Woo! In all honesty, in my right hand of God, I can honestly say I made, like, close to, I'd say 900 to be honest. So how much do you typically charge for sex? I'm not a cheap, I'm not a cheap bitch, you know, so I'm going, like, I charge, you want everything, that's 250 and when you can you be a little bit more detailed when you say everything? What yeah, do you mean? Like sucking dick, some pussy. Uh, it's a bonus for the butt because I don't like the butt. You know, I do not stick my fingers in men's ass. So if you like fetishes, you know that's extra. You know, okay. You brought us on top of the two fifty. And how much extra? 
Would you I, charge if a man had a fetish with asses? It's always a hundred. Okay. So you add a hundred to you know your two fifty. So that's three fifty. Okay. Okay. I definitely appreciate that. So before we proceed, because I do have some more questions, um, but we're gonna give my best friend a break because these questions is a little hard and a little tempting, and she hasn't even drank any of her wine. So we're gonna give her a little break. So let's go ahead and give her a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and this is the honest truth, you know, honesty. Like Okay, that. thank you. That's it. So that's it. if you guys don't know, my brother Carl, he's on Facebook. He does Carl True Poetry. He does have a book out right now. So if you guys can go check it out. This is actually one of his first books. He has another book out too. But this book, I definitely think you guys should check it out if you guys don't know. You can get on his Facebook or my Facebook and follow him and definitely check it out. It has 38 different special poetry that he did himself, and it's great. So I'll let y'all check that out. And if y'all haven't yet, please, please, please go to my Facebook. I'm sorry, go to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe my videos. And if you didn't catch this whole live after, I'm, I will be posting it to my YouTube channel. And if you don't know, it is Girl Talk Kansas, so go at me. And another on the book. So make sure you guys check it out. Alrighty, alrighty. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So, how did you guys feel about the conversation that was? Let's get some feedback. Do anybody have so any far? questions that y'all want to ask my best friend? Because she's willing and then she's open to answer. So, does anybody have any questions? Okay, that's a good question. We can ask that one. Anybody else have some questions? Let's go up because we missed some questions. We do have a prize giveaway at the end. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that would have been a good suggestion. What? Having a man on here, like a yes. trick to have Ooh. his thing. Okay. That's a good question, too. I'll definitely ask that. Alrighty, so whenever you're ready, um, we're ready to ask you some more questions. Yes. So, what are you guys also feeling so far? Any more questions? You guys have any ideas for upcoming discussions you think we should talk about here in the community or what's going on? How are you guys feeling about the whole COVID-19? You know, school is supposed to be coming up next month. Uh, some of us do have kids, so are you going to be sending your kids back to school? Uh, are you going to let them do online school? How are you guys feeling about that also? Yes, so how are we going to pick a number? So we are going to do a raffle at the end of the show we will host the winning person here at the end of the show on youtube or are we gonna do it on facebook no we're gonna do it on youtube all righty all righty so we're about to call my best friend back here in a second Whenever you're ready, Quiddy, you can come because I do have a few more questions and I do want some of my guests and some of my audience to be able to have some of their questions answered as well. Okay, I can ask that question. Hey, everybody. I hope you guys are pouring up. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's welcome my best friend back. Hello, hello, hello. And again, Quita, I definitely appreciate your honesty. And I definitely appreciate your willingness to get on here and speak your truth. Because everybody has a truth. And everybody has an ugly truth. 
regardless of where you come from or who you're talking to, everybody has a truth. And she's just woman enough to get on here and tell her truth. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you for that. Of course. All righty. So we're going to ask some of the questions that some of our guests was wanting to know. What was that question? It was a Would good you one. Prices? Okay. Huh? Someone was asking... One of our guests was asking, would you be willing to raise your prices? Yes. Yes. Okay, this was another good question. So, back in your day, when you were younger and you was doing, the when you were being promiscuous, was there ever drugs involved? No. I'm lying. Well, yes. be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. I appreciate you for catching yourself in... Wanting to be honest. Yes, thizzles. You know, thizzles. I take, I take ecstasy pills and shit. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, have you recently turned any tricks? Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. Okay. I have. Was there any drugs involved when you did that? No. So, this is the last question I want to have to ask you, best friend, and then I'll... I'll let you be off the hook for now. So, do you come or come when you be messing with those tricks? No, I do not come. So, you never came when you were the trick? I never came. So, when you are having regular sex, do you come all the time or? If the dick is good. If the dick is good. Okay. Okay. Well, um, my co-host will be coming back. And I definitely want to thank you guys for tuning in. Before we go, um, I promise that there will be a cash raffle. And I do have my raffle drawings if you guys don't mind passing that to me. All righty. So I do have my first 20 people that subscribe to my channel. And I will be pulling. Let me shake it up. Drum roll, please. Wait, sorry, let me do that one again. <laughs> oh. Camera malfunction. <laughs> Alrighty, so I do have my winner here. And I will be announcing it on my YouTube channel. So go like, share, and subscribe.